Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Warno match. This is between myself as Apollo on the right side as my third armor build, showing you the deck now. And then on the left side here, we got 39th as Lathan. So Lathan's the top player in all of Warno, so it's going to be a great game. He's playing his 39th. Let's see the deck now. Anyway, let's go over my opening here. I can't really know what you know my opponent's doing, but <laughs> in general, my plan was to lightly deploy up in Bravo. Just enough forces to stem any tide and then go heavy in this location with a lot of armor and tanks. That was my plan here. You see what I opened up with. Two uh, triple vetted A1 Abrons, three Chaparral, some infantry, just some Motoshoki fire teams, sorry, not Motoshoki, fire teams with the dragons, military police, and then over here on my flank, <laughs> just dragon fire teams and an LRS, and just some more recon scouts with the ACAP down here. Opening up with two CVs going to each point, Bravo and Delta, giving me the early tick. My opponent, in contrast, looks like he's ready for some type of helo rush. Um, kind of interesting tactic because I don't ever really buy aircraft or helos, but he's buying. You see, he bought, I mean, look at my Strellas he bought. Six Strellas, kind of crazy. Plus a Cub on top of that. Plenty of infantry down here. Mochoki BMP2s, uh, tons of BTRs. Puri, uh, bought two CVs, it looks like. Yeah. CV tank though, BVK, and a, you know another CV going up north. So each player going with CV to each side, and let's get this thing rolling here. Uh, pretty so you pretty much guessed correctly there. Oh, do we have pause it? Yeah. Good to go. Yeah, now we're good. Anyway, so pretty much you guessed. Well, I mean, we both kind of go in the same direction. He's obviously deploying just a token force to the north. I'd say a little bit less resources are going to the north than I am. Um, but again, that's gonna be made up by the fact that he bought a significant amount of AA. It does mean though that I cannot buy. Um, well, I mean, we'll see. Like, it really means that any the helos or aircraft that I buy are gonna get shot down. Luckily, though, for my natural play style, is I don't really rely on aircraft to do anything because I'd rather just have the ground forces on the ground. I feel like it's a, a little bit of a uh, a noob mistake is to buy tons of aircraft just because if you do that, honestly, like, if you're getting, let's say you buy an ATGM plane, the ATGM plane is probably like 200 plus points, and you're probably not gonna get a kill against an experienced player because he's gonna smoke off the tank right when the ATGM plane comes in. You're probably gonna get shot down. And even if you get the kill, then you're probably gonna get shot down too. So positive trades aren't really there for the aircraft. It's something to kind of finish off people or give yourself support. Not something to be the the front line sphere. See tons of Strella here moving in here, but no helos coming in for me. It doesn't really matter. You can definitely see that I over deployed in the north there. Fire teams, CVs, ACAV, LRS. A more expensive than these stuff. 45 point unit here. 30 point plus 25 point ETR. So. Definitely got one out on that engagement of trading of deployment. So on the southern flank, I have significantly better forces down here just because he only has one tank, which can't be either one of my Abrams. And he bought so much AA. BMP2 is moving up, though. Three moving up. First tick, though, is by Bradley's here and Engineer Flash. Start probing this area as well. Want to make sure this area gets locked down immediately. Just prevent any type of rushing. I've had a lot of games now where people rush down this road. <laughs> so annoying. He's moving up some military police here. He backs up his AA. <laughs> All right, guys, I have a little bit of a cough here. BTR moving up. BP moving up. Right when this engagement takes place, though, I have my Abrams arriving to the front. ACAP moving up, too. A nice shot. And, BMP and these things are pretty expensive. You know, the 45 points a pop, so loose nose aren't. It's not some cheap thing. BVK takes a hit. Guess he's going to back up in a second. Takes another hit. Fires nice round of me, takes some damage. Unluckily for me, if I got that kill, that would have been really great. But I got all his infantry kind of exposed in the open. He's gonna have to back him off. He is doing so. Good micro from Lathan's here. First wave reinforce coming in. I'm bringing in more Bradley's here. Two more reinforcements from the enemy. We've seen SC25. This is Ken. Very interesting buy here. 199, 190 points. You know he's playing a veteran player. And I think this is a big mistake here. I see it coming in from a mile away. You can hear it too. It's so goddamn loud. I'm, I'm gonna try to smoke here in a second. Oh, he does get the kill though. Gets that one off. But again, like as I said before, it's like he gets like a kill on the first one. 190 points, so 50 point difference. Not a big difference though. And I already shot him down. Like, it makes really no big difference. Like, no real impact on the battlefront. Instead, of he could have had another tank on the battlefield, which probably would have been a lot better and more efficient, especially if keeping me on the tide here. I see him moving up with the BVK here. I realize it's not going to go well for me. I'm going to smoke off myself. He smokes himself off. He's doing a smart tactic where he goes back and forth. 
trying to get behind cover more bvs coming in i have my first command abrams or sorry no command tank coming in a minute myself off here. I'm just gonna keep him probe. Dragon here firing out. BTR getting it though. You know, it's 25 points. Those are pretty expensive. You know, if you kill two of these, pretty much pay for these dragon squads. He's down one helo. I'm keeping count in my head about how many SUs. Probably has about four of them. Of the AT ones. Maybe another card of the rocket ones. <clears throat> He's only got three more. Well, I have a million Abrams and pretty much plenty even with the trade. EP1 goes down there. No action in the north yet. I was kind of concerned that there would be, maybe be a build up here. So my whole plan was, well, I thought there was, I thought right now that I had the momentum going towards him, that he wouldn't engage uh, in the north right now because he's probably reinforcing the southern flank. He's building a token force, start slowly building up. That I would have noticed by now. MP2 going down there, Bradley. Got a BVK still in here. Got a damage tank as well. Plenty of supplies and traps. Got a lot of AA still for myself. Trying to rotate along this edge here. See if I can get something going here in this corner. A lot of cover. Keep the tanks here to keep them pinned down in the town. Seeing Abrams coming. Another Abrams over here. Seeing a BVK coming in here. T another BV as well. And my 24 rocket plane coming in. Kind of interesting buy. He knows I got the traps around here. Just gotta be very careful. And I've got a couple glimpses, I'm pretty sure, of AA at this point. Just from units rolling or every time he moves it, I get like every once in a while I get a line of sight. No, he decent he had a decent amount of AA. Kind of interesting buy here. I'm gonna start rotating around the flank here. So much forces. Maybe was arriving. Got one here. Rotating, trying to I knew there was some type of uh HGM squad over here. What you're talking about here? I'm moving up my AA. Got Pearl getting a little too close. Does miss, luckily for myself. Take a hit from the Conquerors. Kill more Shoki squad there. I immediately take a hit there. Oh my god, I'm out of here. Got Pearl's gonna back off in a second as well. Fire team goes off in a shot. Gets a nice hit there. Doing half damage. Gonna make him back off as well. Definitely can't just keep pushing there now. You just get shot and die. Back up the helo. Back up my AA. Repair my tanks here. Have some tank repairing back here. Got an Abrams now over here as well. I believe I have a command Abrams now coming as well. Bradley's moving into the forest. Got Burrell though. Being bad micro by myself. Ooh, do get lucky though with a miss there. Still don't react though. Bad micro here. Nope, BV gets it anyway. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for a reckless assault from him. Try to push me out, and then I can counterattack. Got plenty of tank support over here. Slowly moving up, feeling a little, feeling a little better right here. He's in a big trouble here. Only superior down here. No way to deal with the Bradley. Hey, everyone's hanging out here. Got three tanks down this location. I have a lot of tanks as well, though. It's a nice hit on my tank. I smoke off. He's gonna smoke himself off. I'm gonna rotate one of my tanks back. Abrams coming in here. Got another Abrams coming in right now. More chaps as well. Pretty much no one really went on, took away with anything from that engagement. Everyone kind of just backing off. It's a nice hit on that BV. Yeah, a little bit of fire coming in from this rocket plane, but not too much. Looking at the left side here. Now he's in big trouble. I smoked myself off. I'm just going to keep smoking. I'm not going to let him get any kills in my tanks. Bring a CV though. Just start probing. Maybe get, maybe get the plus 100 on him. Putting a lot more pressure on him. Some more fire team dragons in this location. We see he's relying on these one, these units. I start noticing bring these out. Twenty-one pen. Terrible infantry though for combat. And their four-man squads get suppressed pretty quickly by any like ATGMs. I'm starting to get engagement over here now. Tanks repairing. 
tank's rotating back over here to repair. I'm not gonna give him any chance to repair. Or to take a out on my tanks at least. It's nice hit on me. Hook off. I'm not gonna give him another tank. He's gonna have to keep repairing. Now, I know what 39th has. They don't have infinite supplies. Does one of my Bradley's. Back off though. Get nice hit on him. He has to back off. He's gonna have to do some repairing. PV in here. Getting nice and close in here. Kinda risky. Like I'm probably gonna lose this PV. But I am plus 100 over him now. Now there's pressure on him because if the game goes even, I win. So that was kind of the objective here. Now it makes him play. He has to make things happen. I'm also sending a couple more recon squads over here. Just, yeah, I thought maybe he started building up some forces. Well, I gets a little too cocky here. Moves up. Takes a lot of heating. I got a lot of tanks now over here. Three of them now. Got a tank down here as well. Damage. Bring up some supply to help out. Repair. Another Abrams as well coming down. See that he's bringing up some supply to repair three of his tanks over here. No real tank losses from either side. A lot of infantry losses from him. A lot of BMP losses. Same with me. A lot of Bradley losses. I still have a decent amount of two Bradleys on the battlefield though. See him probing right here. Lose a strike. Fire team. Knows I have stuff. Bring up more BMP2s. I'm going to Shroki. He knows he's got chaps. Kind of a interesting investment now. Because he knows that if I'm right here with Chaparrells in these locations, he can't use his helos pretty much at all. One way you, like, you can kind of see him is like hanging out back here and you can kind of shoot in the town if I'm going deep in the town. But I don't need to. I just need to hang out on the edge where my tanks and support and AA can cover. At this point, I'm buying some more infantry. So they're flooding in the town. Turn the tanks. And I'm kind of waiting. I, I felt... I felt as if... There was going to be a push at one point on this side. Because there's such a critical mass of forces that he's been buying on this location. So I was kind of waiting for that moment when he would push. And then all my tanks can kind of spread push out. We're talking about a lot of armor right here. We got three, four tanks right here. We got another tank over here. I believe I'm going to have another tank coming here. My first HA coming out. Can't really compete with an HA whatsoever. Trying to probe him. Make him come out. You see, he's got a lot of armor over here now. I only have one tank, though. So this is a little bit sketchy for me. Kind of have most of my tank on trade on this front. Nice on my flash. Going into this town, though. Tank engages here. Gets a nice hit. Gets a hit on me, though. I have a command tank rotating over. I'm going to back off. I know there's a lot of armor over here, so I don't want to just, like, all of a sudden take a million shots. I'm in this section now of the town. I have my tank hanging out over here. I have another one, M1 coming. H is coming as well. And I kind of felt right here like there's about to be a big push. Saw so this coming in here. I thought the moment he started giving me some over here, there's always a reaction when another player starts pushing from another direction. Thinking that they got the momentum. He fires an ACAV. I'm starting to probe here. Get, get a hit on him. Two one health damage. Man tank. I kind of was microing this right here. Get a little. You can see that. Gets first kill pretty much in one of my tanks. He's cleaning me up pretty good here now. Kill one of his BVs. I make a big mistake here. Try backing off. I know there's a tank right here. He hits first shot. One shots me. Now the front line. Not looking great. Got a lot of armor over here. I got four tanks. Got my chap still alive. And this is where he, I think, may be making a huge mistake. He's, put it, he's going on the offensive. I have plenty of tanks here. That's the thing. Like, he hasn't killed the armor. He loses command tank there. Losing helos. I do lose another tank there, though. Got three tanks now. Got some rallies coming in though. Backing off. Losing these M1s quickly. 85 point tanks. These ranges, they have no shot. P 
PV engagement right here. Gets killed. Now he's in a big trouble. Bring my supply back. Buying two. This is what I'm saying. Big SC25s here. I need to see him coming. I immediately smoke. So all these SC25s now. Goes in for a chat. That's not a good kill. There's a supply truck. And there you go. He just traded super negative right there. Now he's in big trouble. Lost a lot of armor. I'm gonna see him probe a little bit here. No supply truck. Rallies are moving in though. Another SG25 coming in now. Rocket wanted that. Gets shot again. Another kill loss. Big misplay there. Buying aircraft. All those uh, were invested in more in tanks. Game would be a lot more even right now. You pretty much see that we wiped out the entire front line. Got some Oshoki here to mop mop. And we only lost, like, I think two tanks. Still have three tanks over here. Lost one over here. Lost a couple over here, but we created pretty okay. We still got this one alive. It's a nice hit on me there. I smoke off from the retreat. Rotating forward, you got another Chucky trying to run away. I two Cobras for Silos now. And now we're starting to see like, look at the map though, big difference in resources. We see a huge amount of forces over here, but just pretty much another Chucky, BDB, B, another BV coming in right now. A lot more armor for myself, repairing these tanks. Got plenty of AA, got some. Reinforcement infantry coming in. I felt like there wasn't much here, so starting to push now. I believe I have a CV coming in a minute. Even buying a PVAD. PVAD's pretty good, honestly. 55 points. Kind of a throwaway A piece and you can put it pretty forward and not care if you lose compared to the Chaparral, which are so good. 95 points. Needs GM Bradley Lathan's not taking it though, smokes off. Trying to move into this town now. Probably could play a little bit more aggressive here. I really did not know how little forces he had on the front line though. But when I started driving through here, then I knew there was not much. I'm gonna keep backing off into smoke. Moving on my Abrams though, to prevent him from doing that. Forces now here. Honestly, you could probably drive to this location. I'm just gonna back off though. I'm not gonna take this engagement. Hilo though, taking some damage. <laughs> We lose one of my helos. Do rotate one of my helos over here. There was an infantry squad that was moving out of recon. We lose some of my Bradleys here. Probably being a little too aggressive in my Bradleys. Too expensive to be thrown away like, like how I was. I have more forces over here now. TV commander coming in. Yeah, another Bradley hit. Smoke off. Back off. Damage the squad here. Moving in through here now. I saw there was almost tanks over here. He lost a lot, so it's like I'm gonna start probing through him. He realizes the danger. Buys a Yugen. Interesting buy though, in the middle of a. Uh, and he fires an empty spot. Buying a Yugen when he's trying to be, you know, beat up on the front line. I noticed the squad moving in on me. Did not want to take 21 side shots here. So I immediately back off my tanks. I'm going to rotate further out while moving the recon and more forces over here. Pouring more infantry in the town. TV coming in. More chaps. More infantry. The Bradley's coming in. Trying to rotate through here on the flank now. And I start noticing it's not that much. Got two T80 BVs over here though. I'm gonna rotate over here. I knew that I saw I can kind of see every once in a line of sight of tanks moving back here. Get some nice shots on me. Smoke off, back off.
Okay, I want to back this shit up so I can repair it. See me bring up some supplies. Have my M1 coming in here. Waiting for a little bit more of a better engagement zone. I want more infantry coming. BB is firing. No MLRS. Probing a little bit too slowly. Get in here now, the CV. Taking front shot, it's not going to do much to me. I'm going to back off though, I'm not going to take any risks. They can take a fight of attrition. Not just keeping these tanks alive, man, honestly. <laughs> I think I've done pretty effectively. My tanks are full health now. And we got plus four on him. So I was kind of pretty content. Also, this force comes over here, though. I got a pretty good early uh, line of sight on him, I believe. I think the ACAV saw it right when it passes this unit here. Now I'm like. Pretty solidified in the town now. Take a lot to take me out of this location. There's a view again though. I immediately see this blob coming down here. I didn't really see any AA with him. They immediately bring over some uh, Cobras. He's buying AA now, but I think the D2 I lose the BNB3 right to the ACAP. ACAP so cheap too, 35 points. Have to smoke himself off. Did so well. I buy an Abrams coming over here now. Start buying reinforcements from the north. I knew I had a superior forces down here in the south, so I'll start to reinforce the north now, just in case there was a force being built up. Nathan's having a tough time now. Kind of just suiciding down that road. I was kind of waiting for the right moment here. Another Abrams, some more recon coming up. I was just gonna have a critical mass and just kind of push, kind of rotate my infantry forward. Better line of sights and these engagements. See CV coming into the point now. Oh, we're backing off. Gonna be some Estrella over. So actually, if he does, he will get shot. <laughs> and I have a lot of tanks over here now. Even another one over here. He does bring up more BVs though. This will be Yugen though. And I just gotta keep him contained a little bit longer. So that I can get reinforcements up here and bring up some AA stingers in case Helos starts rushing. But I have no A on the right right now. This is an interesting move right here. He's going on the offensive. Maybe he thought I was a little bit weaker than I was. Just takes a hit right there. Takes another shot. Does some damage here. I'm gonna keep engaging now. Does kill me, but I kill him. I'll take the. I, I thought I, want, I was okay. To take one to one engagement at this point. Now that he started running away like this, and I started seeing forces run away like that, so the bluff of having nothing in the town let up. And I just started rolling in here. He keeps smiling, Gila, even though he knows I have a. Right when I saw this mass running out, I knew that he had nothing on the front line. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go for everything now. And I'm rushing him. And he's got a lot of wounded tanks on one of them heal. I mean, I have four tanks right here. Bradley's, ACAVs. Got more tanks over here on the left side. HA firing a shot. That's it. There's another tank. Like, if I kill all these tanks, there's no way he gets back. mm one a one's over here now. Engaging. Yeah, pretty much this point's locked down now. See him running in tons of helos. Gets bailed out over here. I have my chaps still moving up though. I'm not going to let him just roll in here. Just kind of waiting for a nice close quarters engagement. Always gets a nice hit on me. Really smoke off. Back off here. I have more reinforcements coming though. Abrams. Supplies. <laughs> That's pretty much it though. Like you can kind of see now in a tough situation. I'm gonna go to two speed now. Go to three speed, honestly. Probing with some helos. I'm trying to probe him, but. There's a helo there. 
There's another helo. Loses another T80 PV there. That's it. Like, pretty much this entire flank's gone. Nothing really here can get in. He has a couple tanks. I rotate some of my tanks backwards into the on the map to come over here. Reinforce on top of the force already I'm bringing in. Now he's outnumbered on this flank as well. And at this point, I think he gave up. I don't think he's kind of buying units anymore, like, effectively. So I think he'll stop in a second after this push. I'm rotating a tank over here to help out. Now that I just won Abrams here, and it pretty much stops the entire attack. There you go, there's another command tank. I have plenty of flash. Counter whatever he's doing. And he was running superior in here too, so that's not gonna do too well against tanks. We'll go to the fast speed now. That's game pretty much. Pretty much just locked him down on here. I got I guess correctly, fine here. I won really uh key tank engagements, didn't lose much of my armor compared to him, and he made that major push where he lost everything pretty much and then he bought a whole bunch of aircraft on top of it lost it then bought another aircraft and lost that one bought a lot of helos probably should just bought more tanks and keep trading with the tank engagements it's a good game though do the score in a second he didn't want to quit so i had to make the tick go all the way to the end you can see he's not buying any more units anymore That score. Look at the kills here. Look at the chronology, actually. Oh, let's look at the tanks, actually. So, like, see the key here. I won a lot of good tank engagements. Tanks got a lot of money out of them. Pretty much all of them. And then we can look at the chronology here. A lot, a lot of BMP losses here. No real armor kills. Then he had, like, a good couple minutes here. He did pretty good work. I think they liked, yeah, around the 14 minute mark, you kind of see the, the trade start to go in my favor pretty significantly here. Big kills. Just kind of steam, just, you know, it snowballs. Anyway, thanks for letting us for playing, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, guys. Join the Discord, play some games. I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching.